Hey guys! How are you? How are you today? What the hell is this? Oh, we're getting a skull this time. Hey. Welcome back to Cross Out! I hope that god my throat doesn't die on me. Okay, let's see, what do we have to do here? Um, okay, now, there's something I actually realized off camera. And it's with these guys. Something I forgot. Something with the lunatics. Something I completely forgot. Lunatics and you, and you guys might have noticed it. Right when I switched to the nomads. What the heck is going on with our improved cooler? I completely forgot about it. <laughs> Until now, actually. <sighs> well, I still need the wires, regardless. I still need the wires. So, one thing I could do... Is stay with the uh, stay with the nomads for now until we get the supplies that we need, and it <coughs> once we get everything we need, we'll jump back to the lunatics and get the improved cooler. Now, this one, um, there's something that's been brought to my attention. Man, which one? This. Mine, um, the Wyvern Plane Cabin. Now this thing got 10 points of energy. And also... Is this just like the Japanese version of Fort Max? Or? I'm certain it's got more weight as well. Wait, mass limit. Oh. Maybe this is like an upgraded version. I, I don't know. Oh. I'm, trying to, I'm looking up Grand Maximus trying to see what the deal is. I'm like... He's cool, but I would have rather mm. them to, um... If they were going to read Deco for Max, <coughs> I wish they would have done... R.I.D. for Max, because mm. R.I.D. is like a good, underrated TF show. Question is... Would a Wyvern actually be worth it, now that I'm looking at it? Because, I mean... It got slightly less power by one and a quarter bars, but its max speed is almost doubled. Well, it's basically doubled. Double boil and trouble. Fire burn and culture and double. And engine speed is doubled as well. Yes. But the mass limit. Well, the tonnage is... I'm kind of hyper today, go on. The tonnage is decreased by 2500. But... The weight has been decreased... By about five thousand. <sighs> and the structure is actually also less too. Like the mass is lower. But the structure is lower as well. I can't take so many hits. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna need to really think about this. I mean yes. I do want the weapons from here, definitely. Uh, these weapons are something that I want. But will I actually get the Wyvern cabin? Yeah. I really, really don't know. Because I see, I, I don't get me wrong, this is a pretty good cabin to use because I've seen a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people use this. But... I did not click on that ad. Will it be used or would it be useful for the purpose that we want it for? 
Hmm. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. Because here's the, the alternators. Here's the thing. Wait a minute. Whoa. Here's the thing. Hey, although we get one extra energy, we get a lot less stuff to play with. And the thing is, wait, what is our current weight? What is our current weight? Let me see. Battle Fox Mark Five. What is the weight of this thing? Five dollar, five dollar foot long. Right, build. The end. Wait, what? We're only at 89? <coughs> oh! I'm an idiot. So? Just charge. That's a good ass one. You know, you guys know what that means, don't you? Get me out of freaking build mode, thank you. Okay. Um, we need two Darker Caverns. Well, we can use the one that we're currently using. But we definitely need two LM-54 cord machine guns. And in fact, we need more machine guns for the Vector. So we actually need five mm. machine guns. So I'm going to be sending our... Wait a minute. Walk look nothing like grid walk. Total parts increase, but our energy is still the same. Crap. I'm gonna be sending this one out. I'm be sending out a Leviathan. See if that see if that can uh, get us anything. And we're going to be going after Docker cabins. Like I said, we can use the cabin we already have and swap it out for a new one. But that's not going to be much of a problem. Uh. I'll check to see, um... Which, um... <coughs> <coughs> oh, Abigail just exploded. I'll check to see which, um, brawl has been opened up. Come on. Come on, Alex. Alex. Come on. And ah. We get it. Whoa, nice one, Peter. Oh wait. Isabella Again. killed Peter. I've read that wrong. Oh shit. We're losing players. Oh shit. Uh Team Adick, watch yourself. Ricardo, guess yeah, I don't know where he is. Shake that ass. Watch yourself. Shake that ass. Show me what you're working with. Okay, good. Um, who's capturing the enemy base? I'm not sure. Whoa! Get out of here, Richard. Oh, Ricardo, I should say. Oh my holy hell! What? <laughs> I can see why you're running for your life. Oh my god! I'm um, sorry guys if, uh, if, like, what I did seem a bit cowardly, me running off like that, but if you literally see the whole- They're around circle, you know that side that Ingo always gets his knock off from? They're around in there. If you guys see the whole entire- uh, basically, about half of the enemy team staring you down, you don't exactly have a choice to try to run for your life. That was like five or six against one. Like, are you mad? Team Adek, you should have stayed in the, uh... Yeah, uh, they got it. They got it. They got too many people left. They got the lead anyway. Where did you the ground? Why did you mention that? Someone said burn to the ground on the TV in there. 
Oh god. Me of bridge of the ground. This is not gonna be easy. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I wonder if I can find those. A rare occurrence! There's some knockoffs on here. I wonder if they can find those knockoff. Those are fucking. I'd say if you look them up, you'll be able to find them. Knockoff Beast Wars Micromasters? I'd say if you look them up, you'll be able to find them. Holy shit. Whoa! Those are goofy. Someone got Don shit on parts? This is oh, those are just the um. Friggin' hover engines! Which thinks that's so friggin' cool. Those, that looks, those look like redecos of the little waspinators that came with that leash and star screen. Ah, uh, nope. Well, yeah, nah, I... they're different, they're different. Come on, fight the people, Clint! Ooh! Got a bit of damage on you! Maybe that's drill the weak spot for massive damage. But they're not there. This critical catastrophic event. If any of you guys are wondering what's going on, I have no idea. Oh, shark sharpens. Bye, Sandra. Yes. Nice one, Klaus. What? Oh, cows? Yeah, uh, cows. Oh, it's the speakers. Why are you talking about cows? It's the speakers. I like those speakers. Like, I know th uh, like most things in this game, like when it comes to speakers or anything like that, like the, or the little um, bludgeon thing, like those things are co cosmetic, but they're still cool. When you say bludgeon, I think of the skeleton samurai robot. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say, yeah, it's also this a tank. I was just gonna say, yes, there's an item in this game, it's called Bludgeon. It's the little spike ball and chain. Or a little miniature mace. Well, or it should be a robot samurai tank. Robot, robot skeleton samurai tank. I'm trying to remove all the fucking things Bludgeon is. You know what Bludgeon is? Cool. Okay. He didn't really get a lot of time to shine in the comic like I thought he would, but meh. Cow? Yes! Cow nail brown cow. Cow? Ooh, that's what I'm gonna bring, to, bring some damage There's cool. a lot of abominuses here. You know you Holy just- Holy shit, I had that toy. Dude, I actually did find a knockoff I had. Holy shit. Wait, did you say Obam- uh, did you say abominus or obominus? I said obom. I had this knockoff set. Holy shit, I had this. I got it from the dollar store. I did not. Okay, I was looking for those micro masters, but I found another fucking knockoff set I had. That's fucking cool. Yeah, I, I had this, dude. <laughs> Whew. That is great, Gray, yo. I don't know what you're gonna find, man. I want Sir Toys looking like it knockoffs. Sir Toys is basically like a knockoff Transformer site where you can find like knockoff Transformers toys and shit. Some are actually pretty good. Like the way Zhang stuff M goes been reviewing is pretty good. That stuff is ridiculous. Like, yeah, but they don't yeah. really, like, yes, they are considered knockoffs, but... But, dude, they're better quality than some of the official shit we got. Yeah, they're improved knockoff. They're basically yeah. improved like knockoffs. Better, <laughs> like, the plastic quality is, is, like, just as good as anything legit. And they're painted better, and have, like, the improvements that are better than some of the official versions. Like, it's and crazy. some of the stuff actually got freaking die cast in it. Like, hello. Yeah. Yeah, like, dude, they fucking go all out for a knockoff. 
Like, not all Nautilus companies are that good, obviously, but, like, way you hang knows what they're doing, man. I should look at their, they probably got a, a page over here. I should look them up. And this is where he usually gets his waking stuff to start toys. They got like crappy knockoffs here too, but they got good ones too. Wait, is that another? Oh shit, I think that, I think that's the micro master that I have. Wow, are you oh, guys done kicking yeah. our ass? Good grief. I just found the six wings that I had. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right. I was in a, I was in a different like I wasn't in special ed. I was in like behavior dis disorder class because ADHD and a bunch of other shit. But anyhow, and like she got a bunch of stuff. She got me like some Bionicle books and um. A set of um, this knockoff little transformers. They're like little tiny transformers, and they combine to a big one. What I did not know is these were knockoffs of an actual Japanese set that never ah. came out. They came out here, but it came out in completely different colors. But these were in the original colors, so they were knockoffs. I never knew. I had a knockoff of an of, of official, like, G1 Micromaster from Japan. Come on, Yanis! Oh my holy hell! I never knew I had those until recently when I discovered them one day. On a Transformer site. And I was like, holy shit! I have Japanese Micromaster. Eat this! Ooh! And I never knew it. I, like, lost my shit, man. That blew my mind. I had some fucking. I had a micro master combined. <laughs> it's crazy. I was honestly just expecting to do damage to that guy. I wasn't expecting to just straight up take him out. Good grief. Okay, that was awesome. Oh, you got synthesis. Oh, you got two of them. Okay. Do synthesis build. Although these weapons are like, uh, they're basically semi-automatic. You only fire off five shots. They're still quite Man, effective. I don't remember that shit. I think they're semi-automatic. I mean, they're not full auto, like a machine gun or something. Oh, that was the drone that just exploded. It's like something just exploded. Yeah, that was a drone. Harambe's? Are you serious? Or Har Har Harambe's? Or are we talking about Harambe? Because somebody's name in this game is Harambe's. It's like this Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh my song. god. And they kept using it where they kept referring to Rampaging Gorilla as Harambe. And then there was a bunch of Donkey Kong videos where they started calling it Harambe Kong Country. That meme got out of hand, man. That meme was everywhere. The most ridiculous thing I've ever heard was Harambe 420 Blaze It. Thank you, Lost Paws, for mentioning that. You're just combining like a billion different memes at that point. Please stop. Yeah, Harambe 420 Blazer. I mean, are you serious? Yeah, that's too many memes. That's too much meme for one man oh, to yeah. handle. Was it, um, it was, uh, Overwatch, I believe? It was a Hanzo the Dab Lord. I mean, are you serious? And someone was maiming, um, uh, maining Hanzo, and his name was Dab Lord. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that that is a shot maker. Oh shit! Get out of here! What? Oh. 
thanks. Rock, uh, Rakesh. I forgot they even had robot mods. Robot mods are kind of shitty, but I had the mock ops be expect. Or Rakesh. Huh. Rakesh. I swear, I don't know what it is about looking for the toys I used Pickle Bricks 420! I gotta find this guy. This Rambe, so his Pickle Rick. Somebody must see Rick and Morty. I just can't believe they're selling boys on the side that I actually used to own. It's, it's kind of blowing my mind a little bit, R. His pick. Well, I found a Pickle Rick 420. Yeah, I remember these old guys. Hi. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm getting your nostalgia boner over here. Are you shooting for me? Yeah, I noticed that. Need to fix mic. I had a bug combiner too. I wonder if that's on here. There are like a bunch of like weird bugs that combined, and I, I had that. I wonder if I can find that on here too. Here's a bug combiner. I don't know if this is this isn't the one now. <laughs> Stop spotting. It's a it's a da ha uh da it's a da ha ka da ha Sounds familiar for some reason. Mio chan, oh Mio chan, okay. Oh my shit! Uh, I just took some spirit straight to the ass and I'm on fire. Help. <laughs> What's worse, the spirit to the ass or the Both. Can you hear me? Both. What's better, an arrow to the ass? Uh, the spirit to the ass or an arrow to the knee? Both. Oh, Wait, okay. I'll say either or. Okay. Most of these look unremarkable, but that dragon ball is from my rep. Mm. Be careful when you say dragon. Why? You know why. Wow, because of the dragon ball. No. Because of the thing you recently watched. For anyone wondering, I just finished, uh, I just recently started watching Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. And for anyone wondering, I'm watching the dub. And I'm actually liking it so far. Yeah, Don't judge me. It, which I knew he would. <laughs> Don't judge me. Yeah, for s somehow, it has a bit of a similar feel, com uh, feel to, um... Archie Kochi, and I'm not sure how. It does have kind of an Archie Kochi vibe. It's weird. Yeah, I. Just uh, even combiners will find Like, it. considering uh, what both animes involved, I mean, you got one that has a heavy underlying cat theme, if that ain't already obvious. And then you have and other the other one. one and then you have the it other has one. Dragon, dragon, rock the dragon. Yeah, that's with other run dragons. I mean, I don't get it. Oh, that's cool. Well, technically, one of them's a mythological god, but you know, I guess it can count as a dragon. Though it's more of a snake, but whatever. Snake. Because in 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 asset mythology is known as a. Um, a feathered serpent. That's a paw. Oh shit. Oh, we got Ricardo Gassi over here. I guess here. a serpent could still, you know, you could still kind of count that as a dragon. Krishan. Whatever, I don't care. The uniform's hot, so I don't care. What? You referring to the one that has the green and yellow hair? Of are you know me. Of course I am. Oh my god, she shows so up, uh, uh, in a couple episodes. She shows up soon. <laughs> Oh my god, someone's running a blue like bear just like we are. Ron Hale doesn't show up for a while though. I know you've probably seen her in the credits. Um, she doesn't show up for a while, but the co shows up in a few oh, episodes. Oh! oh, 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 oh. 
But her and uh, that near who is the butler looking guy, they show up around the same time. Uh, Toru and, or, no, uh, Toru and Kana. fucking cool. Yeah, Toru and Kana already showed up. And I'm sorry, yeah, I've but the, the first. Series. I gotta know the A or I'll watch Power of the Night. The first encounter when uh, oh, uh, Miss. I almost dropped my title on the floor. That would be bad. Yeah, the first encounter when um, Kana and Miss Kobayashi meet. Oh my god, the stuff she says! Holy crap! And I'm referring to Kana, not Miss Kobayashi. Like the allegations, oh my god. But this is just ridiculous. Nomative, 99. Sanya. Or Sanha. 31, 202. And we got K. Hragan. Craig, Craig, can't speak. <laughs> that again. Is there anything new? With me? I can't see if he's oh, gonna I've blow up or not. On uh, Bolt Matrix's channel. I guess he did. Oh my God! Did he ever? I know it's Warmaker COD. Chris, uh, Chris one two three is to the left, but never mind. I think he just died. Can you stop giving me wheels for crying out loud? That's not what I need. And I just bit my tongue. Ow. Now, for anyone wondering, when we uh, when our parts. Get uh, when our part lim parts limit increase. Wow. Um. Depending on if we hit the eight thousand weight limit or not, will depend on if we go uh, if we go back to using the um, Docker cabin or not. Because as I said earlier on in the series, which is what? 63 episodes ago, roughly? So I mean, this is number 64. Yeah, I try to get, yeah, get that back into your heads. Good lord. Well, you guys should be able to see the number from the uh, title of the video. Anyway, well, as I stated earlier on in the series, I uh, said that I wanted to go for a big, chunky tank build because that's what my gameplay style is. Like, well, I want to, like I stated, like I want to go for something that has say, um, has a big hefty punch, but also can take a lot as well. Basically, it can take a hit and still keep on going. Or go for the whole an eye for an eye statement. It can take no. It can take yeah. It can take whatever it can dish out. Because I mean, well, this is more than likely because of my OCD. But I w like to build something balanced, so like um, everything is even and nothing is hindered. Because, I mean, well, having a bullet sponge is good, but I also let it do damage and help the team out instead of just me having a big iron box. Even if it just has, like, some basic weaponry. And I certainly do not like glass cannons. Because, well, I might be able to, I uh, hit like a bad habit. But... If one cannon shot kills me, I'm not going to be that much good. So I'd like to... Well, 
As this old statement goes, and I believe this is a, a, a Timex ad statement, which is going to sound weird. But I'd like to take a licking and keep on ticking. That's why I want to go for a big chunky tank build and those spets, those speedy builds. No way, I cannot control them for the life of me. I cannot. Oh, they are a white knuckle ro oh, ride. Like, holy crap. Ow. Oh. Okay. Ugh. Alright, so guys, that's gonna have to do it for this time. So, cross out the like button if you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. <sighs> I know I'm a fox. But me sat here in this chair. Feels hot as hell. Which doesn't exactly help me out very much. <sighs>